Okay, based on this, okay, uh, magnet. So today we're gonna carry on lah. So as I told you before, right? Apa atau benda apa yang dinamakan sebagai magnet, dia mesti merupakan objek. Okay, dia mesti merupakan objek yang, yang kamu boleh jumpa di bawah tanah. As I told you before, you korek you jumpa satu objek. Katakan dia magnet. Let's say you found something, a piece of thing. Let's say you found this. Oh, you say that it's a magnet. If you think that this is a magnet, kalau kamu rasa dia adalah magnet, bermakna dia mesti, okay, mesti boleh tarik benda lain. They must able to attract other thing. So what what is the other thing they're talking about? There are four of them. You can see from here lah. There are four of them. It's what we call the iron, steel, cobalt, and nickel. There's four of them. As I told you before, this is the only four material on Earth, the bumi ini. Okay, they're able to attract it by the magnet. So that's why this four material juga dinamakan sebagai magnetic material, bahan magnetic. Okay, bahan magnetic. Understand or not? Bahan magnetic. Ada empat sajalah. Besi, keluli, kobat dengan nikel. Empat dinamakan sebagai bahan magnetic. Is it okay? Can I? So sekarang apa yang berlaku sekarang adalah kita nak tahu kalau kamu nothing better to do. Okay, kamu korek bawah tanah. Okay, korek bawah tanah. Kamu jumpa satu bahan. Kata, oh, jumpa benda ni. Katakan kamu rasa dia adalah magnet. Kalau kamu rasa dia adalah magnet, if you think that this is the magnet, then this thing must able to fulfill five criteria. Dia mesti dapat, okay, memuaskan lima syarat-syarat. Dia must have five things that this thing can do. They only can call it as a magnet. Okay, so there are five important points I'm going to write for you and with diagram as well, I'm going to write for you in this area, okay, see me here. I'm going to write it over here. But because this part for me, right, is a bit small and narrow, terlampau kecil, so I will write on the side, okay, so I can tulis ke tepi dia. Okay, I'll write on tepi here. So, but when you copy, you copy inside there. But you estimate your own size, okay, estimate yourself, jumpa anggarkan sendirilah, understand dengan size dia, okay? So, there are few things. Number one is what? Look at this, ah. jangan salin dulu, dengar dahulu. So, if you korek bawah tanah, you jumpa satu bahan yang kamu katakan, kamu namakannya sebagai magnet. If you call it as a magnet, maksudnya apa? Number one, listen first, ah, copy later. Number one, dia mesti mempunyai something called as a magnetic, listen first, ah. we call it as a magnetic pole. Okay, in Malay, dinamakan sebagai kutub magnet. Okay, dia mesti membuat magnetic pole. Okay, listen to me first. Ah, listen. What do you mean by magnetic pole? Kita semua orang tahu magnet ini mempunyai dua jenis pole. Dia ada dua kutub. Satu dinamakan sebagai N, iaitu North Pole. Satu lagi dinamakan sebagai S, South Pole. Okay, a North Pole and a South Pole. Understand not? North Pole, South Pole, magnetic pole. Understand or not? Is that clear? So dalam bahasa Melayu, saya sendiri tahu lah utara dengan selatan lah. I don't think I need to, but okay lah. I write for you. Utara dengan selatan. Okay, dia ada dua kutub. Okay, dia ada dua kutub. Understand or not? So apa maksud ni? Listen first. All this you have to copy, but listen to me first. It means that when you find a piece of material on earth, when you find a piece of material on earth, katakan, you have this thing, a material on earth. Katakan dia, kamu rasa dia ada satu magnet. If you think it's a magnet, what happened? It must have one side is a north pole, another side must be a south pole. Okay? Must be like that. Dia mesti macam tu. And you know what's the best part? North and south, okay, utara selatan, dia sentiasa berada bersama dalam satu magnet. Maksud saya adalah, sampai hari ini, saintis masih cuba, okay, usaha mereka nak pisahkan dia. They try to separate the north and south. But we find out it can't be separated. They can't be separated. Okay, what it means is like that. Don't copy, ya. Yeah? Listen to me first. Means that imagine when you find a piece of magnet, okay, North Pole. Oh, sorry, I should not draw this line accidentally. So let's say a piece of magnet. Let's say this is a North Pole. This is South Pole, for example. What you're going to do is like that. Let's say, katakan kamu pergi pecahkan magnet ini. You try to break it into two. So menjadi apa? You're becoming a piece of magnet like that, for example. Another piece, for example, it's going to be like this. You might think that, oh, sir, kalau pecahkan satu belah north, satu belah south lah. Is it going to be like that? No. There's a lot of time I do not like those are preschool ataupun primary school science subject yang beritahu kamu lukisan magnet. Macam mana mereka lukis? Mereka lukis macam ni lah. Satu bahagian dia namakannya north, mana merah. Satu lagi bahagian dia namakan macam ni. Okay, namanya south, the magnet. Then you must think that a lot of students misunderstand. They might think, oh, magnet basically is like something like break into two, 
half of it, not separo, not separo, south. Not like that. Not like that. The truth is, hakikat ni adalah, the truth is, when you break this magnet into two pieces, katakan, apa yang akan berlaku? You akan dapati, setiap ketoran magnet yang kamu jumpa, masih mempunyai north and south. Still have the north and south. But remember, is it means a sub? You break like that, if this is a north, mean this side must be a south lah. If this is a south, okay, this is a south, this one must be north. Is it going to go that way? Not necessary. Tak semestinya. Yang penting saya nak kamu ingat, ini adalah satu sifat istimewa magnet. Why like that? Don't ask. Why like that? You don't ask. Understand or not? Maksud saya adalah, kita dapati, every piece of magnet, when you drop it, right? when you drop on the floor, what would, what happened to the magnet? The magnet, let's say, it broke into two pieces. Betul tak? Then you know what happened? At the same time, the position of the magnetic pole will change. Kedudukan kutub magnet akan berubah. Adakah ada masih di sini north? Masih di sini south? Tak semestinya. Dia berubah. Di bagaimana? Tak tahu lagi. We don't know yet. But one thing for sure, north and south still exist. Masih wujud dalam setiap ketuk. Understand or not? That's the meaning of that. Even though you break into four pieces, you still can find north and south in every single piece. Even though you break it, become a magnet powder, every tiny piece of powder, you still can find north and south inside it. Masih ada utara dan selatan. This is what we call true love. So next time, huh, when you got girlfriend or boyfriend, if you have it now, you talk to a girlfriend, nah, you tell, oh, Okay, you bagaikan utara, saya bagaikan selatan. We always together. Even though we become a magnet powder, we still together. This is called the true love. Understand not? Cinta abadi. But make sure when you say that, uh, make sure your girlfriend or boyfriend ada sedikit background of science lah. You cakap macam tu banyak-banyak, nanti your girlfriend tanya, ah, what is magnet? Okay, memang lah. Okay, lemah semangat. So, you must be together. Uh. Understand not? Oh, we have some question over here. Is it like the particle inside the magnet or why inside the magnet you don't ask? Magnet is like that. Your level of understanding of magnet just like that. Okay? What inside it don't ask? Okay? Teacher, quick question. If we're able to break the kutub magnet one day, would it be benefit us at all? Yes. Until today, right? Scientists still want to find, uh, actually, uh, our friend asked, is it able to break the entire the magnetic pole? Is it benefit us? Yes. In later, you will know. Actually, until today, scientists they want to find out whether we can find a magnet with a single pole. Single pole magnet. Tak ada. Dia memang istimewa. Dia merupakan bahan istimewa. That's the reason why we want to learn lah. Understand? Not? Itulah sebab kita nak belajar. Sebab dia istimewa. It's very special. Understand? If you're not special, we're not going to learn. One more time. This is called true love. Cinta abadi. Understand? Not? Is that clear? Okay, that's the thing. Not yet, nah, belum habis lagi. Kampar Raja ni. Listen first, ah. So as I say, a magnet must have a pole. One side north, one side must be a south pole. Understand? Is that clear? But remember, the magnetic pole, okay, kutub magnet, hanya berlaku at the side of the magnet only. Side and surface only. Maksudnya, kutub utara hanya berlaku di sini. It's only on the surface. Okay, surface only. Okay, di permukaan di permukaan sahaja. Okay, listen first, uh, copy later. What it means, uh, permukaan sahaja, that means that the kutub, right, only here and here. That means that the side of it, right, it doesn't show any magnet reaction. One. What it mean by doesn't show any magnet reaction? Let me use this side of the board. Katakan one more time, you have a piece of magnet. Katakan, no poke, sapo, katakan. We know that apabila ada empat bahan, salah satu dia, okay, the besi, keluri, kobat, nikel, one of them, come near to the magnet, they will stick to it. Katakan satu satu baku besi, kamu letak di sini. Okay, it's a besi lah, iron, for example. Apa berlaku? They will stick to the pole. Remember, they only stick to the pole. And the pole is only located at the surface only. Understand? Even though you put a nail, katakan, kamu ada nail kat sini, letak baku kat sini. Katakan, put a nail over here. So what happened to this? So this nail also will stick to the magnet, but the only will stick either ke sini ataupun ke sana. Anasa nak ke sini, ke sana. Only anasa. It means that this baku right will not stick to the surface here. No, no, tak tak ada. 
Bermakna tepi itu, dia tak menunjukkan sebarang kesan magnet. Kesan magnet hanya berlaku di kutub dan pada permukaan saja. Understand? This side, this side tak ada punya. That's the thing. Another thing is, please understand that if I giving you a magnet like this, if I give a magnet like this, it doesn't mean that tidak bermakna this side masih north, this side masih south. Not like that. Can be a north here, south here juga. Understand or not? It can be like that. Is that clear? It can be like that. Understand? Bermakna hanya permukaan ini dan permukaan ini menunjukkan sifat magnet. Yang tepi ini memang tak ada punya. Tak ada. Tak ada. Understand not? That's how special they are. That's how special they are. Understand not? Is that clear? Can uh, someone ask a question? How fast is magnet attraction speed? How fast is speed you can't tell, okay? Because how fast the magnet can strike depends on how strong is the magnet. Understand not? The speed is not important for us. It depends how strong the magnet can do. Okay or not? But one thing for sure, as I said, Magnet mesti ada kutub dan kekuatan magnet hanya wujud pada kutub saja dan kutub hanya pada permukaan. Even though it's a flat magnet, let's say the magnet is very flat like that, it can be also this side is a north pole, behind is a south pole, can be like that. The north and south must be opposite between each other, but it's only at the surface. Is it okay? Write down into your notes. Let me just clean this one first. Okay, that's of only the first thing. Ah, ini perkara pertama saja. Ah. Not yet now, we are not finished yet. As I say, there are five things for copy. So estimate your own space in your notes. If you print out the notes already. Lah. Someone asked, how to know the north and south? Later on, you will know. Okay, someone asked, how to know the north and south? You will know later. Okay? Later. Okay, Sabah. So this one you copy first. First thing. Okay? Hurry up. Huh? At the same time, I need to book up also a bit. Let me just uh, stop my video a while. Okay, I'm back. Sudah belum? Dah dah? Internet connection not stable. Ah, yeah. That's a problem for Malaysia. Sometimes internet. I love my country. All done? Okay, cepat-cepat. Sebab bagi yang belum, someone say not yet. I think I put a call range at the back. Oops. Oh. Your hair very long, someone say. Yeah, you see. I can tie it up already with a ponytail. What to do? No money to cut hair. Why you look so scared one, huh? What do you mean by look so scared? I don't know what you're talking about. Mean scary, is it? I look scary. Oh, what to do? Genetic. Bapak kasih punya muka. <laughs> you can just open your virtual back. No, I just want to try it out because as I say, this is not my house. All right. So I just want to try. Oh my God. I thought your background is a sky just now. No, no, no. Teacher, where are you? Somewhere lah, somewhere on earth, but not at home. Okay, can I? Okay, sudah. Huh? Someone want to find me? You can find me on. <laughs> All right, number two. Someone say you are a shopping mall, right? And you, I, I don't know lah. Huh? Somewhere lah, somewhere lah. Okay, what's so concerned? You want to miss me? Is it? You miss me and come and find me. Okay, done now. 
Okay, so what? That now? All right, number two. Okay, just now we already said, okay, you might understand what is the talking about in one, this number one, two, three, and so on is we want to talking about sifat, sifat magnet means you want to claim you found a magnet. Number one, magnet must have a pole, pole must have a permukaan saja. All right. Number two, okay, what is happening is like that. Number two is talking about kalau kamu ada jumpa satu magnet, all magnet mesti ada apa? Mesti ada magnetic. Masa what? Magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field. In Malay, dinamakan sebagai medan magnet. Okay, medan magnet. Okay, what do you mean by a magnetic field? Based on the definition, magnetic field is what? Remember, as I told you before, according to our syllabus, there are three types of field that we have. One is called the gravitational field. We have an electrical field. Another one is called magnetic field. Kalau kamu masih ingat, what's the definition for gravitational field? Gravitational field is what? It's an area for an object to experience gravitational force. What's an electric field? Electric field is an area for the object to experience electrical force. So what's a magnetic field? So magnetic field basically is what? It's an area, okay, for an object, okay, it's an area for an object to experience, oh, oops, what is it talking, what is it doing? Okay, experience magnetic force, okay? Dia merupakan satu kawasan untuk Suatu objek mengalami mengalami daya, okay, daya magnet. Okay, apa maksudnya daya magnet? Later on you will know. Okay, you will know. So magnetic field referring, listen first as usual. Listen to me first. It's an area for the objek to experience a magnetic force. Okay, to experience a magnetic force. Okay. Kawasan untuk mengalami medan magnet. Understand or not? So, what do you mean by a medan magnet? Look at this. Okay, I give you a chance to copy later. Okay, bayangkan, as I said, if this is the piece of magnet, katakan you jumpa satu magnet, katakan ini ada satu ketua magnet, katakan, alright, let's say this is a north pole, let's say this is a south pole. So, what you do? Hina parti sekitar kawasan magnet ini. Let's say you found, let's say this is a piece of magnet. You found this is the magnet. Contohnya, what happened? So, in the surrounding area of this magnet, ada satu kawasan. This kawasan, we call it as a medan magnet. Okay? We call it as a magnetic field. So, this kawasan or magnetic field, right, basically is not visible. Dia memang tak boleh nampak. But they are there. Dia memang tak boleh nampak. Understand? Now, you might understand, uh, untuk sebarang medan pun tak boleh nampak. Just like we are on earth now. Kita sememangnya dalam medan gravity. But can you use a finger to point where is the gravity? You tak boleh punya, eh, gravity is there. No, it cannot. Tak boleh. Disebabkan, sebabkan dia tak boleh nampak. Understand? No? Electric field pun sama. Dia tak nampak punya medan elektrik. Tetapi, untuk medan magnet, we have a way to see them. Kita cara untuk tengok dia. Macam mana? Imagine, this is the magnet. In the surrounding area, ada satu kawasan. Okay, we call that medan magnet. So, it's there. Memang ada kat situ, tapi kita tak nampak. So, macam mana kita lihat dia? How we can see them? We use iron powder. Sebut besi. Kamu bayangkan kamu letak sebut besi di sekitar magnet ini, apakah kamu nampak? I think some of you might see it before. You will see a certain pattern, right? Will appear in the surrounding area of the magnet. Just like that. Understand or not? You will see something like that. Again, now you will see the pattern, right? Remember, as I mentioned in the first point, the pattern is only coming up from the pole, meet at the surface. The side tepi dia tak ada punya. If this is the magnet, again, as I said, here and here. Sini, sini tak ada punya. Understand or not? So not only that, you also can see this kind of thing. Okay, the red color dot that I used to draw for you, uh, class, basically is a magnet. Uh, what we call iron powder. Okay, it's iron powder. Sebut besi. Okay, this sebut besi sebenarnya mewakili apa? Dia mewakili the medan. Dia mewakili the medan. Understand or not? Is that clear? Okay, mewakili medan dia. So what is a medan magnet? The line that I draw just now. Remember, dia memang wujud. Just like imagine if this is a magnet. Okay, dia memang ada kasi tapi tak nampak. Macam mana kita tengok dia? You just have to put the iron powder around. 
Then you can see the shape came out. That shape is called magnetic field. Karena saya nak bentuk itu dinamakan sebagai medan magnet. The shape itself. Bentuk itu dinamakan sebagai medan magnet. Karena saya nak. And excuse me, what's so important about this medan magnet? Okay, write it down. Huh? Listen first. Huh? Listen first. Sorry. Like, listen first. Uh, someone got arrow. Arrow later. Sabah. Sabah. Someone ask arrow. Arrow later. Listen to me first. Okay, this is what we call as a magnetic field first. Understand or not? So the next thing I want you to understand, what is the use of this magnetic field? What is the use of this pattern? So we find out, okay, we find out the size, size of the field. Okay, size untuk medan, I think in Malay is kind of simple, right? Okay, size untuk medan, all right, is equal to the strength, the strength, okay, of the magnet. Okay, dia mewakili kekuatan, ayo Microsoft, why are you so smart, man? Okay, lah, I need to do a circle for me. Stupid. Okay. The strength of the magnet, okay, mewakili apa? Dia mewakili kekuatan magnet. Okay, kekuatan magnet. What it means that how strong is this magnet now? It can be represented by the size of the field. Okay, what it mean by that? I'll use this side of the board to show you. Katakan you beli satu magnet. Let's say you bought a magnet, let's say from... Uh, Let's say for Maidin, okay, let's say you put a piece of magnet for Maidin, very cheap, very nice, north and south, katakan. Apa berlaku, you letak sebuah besi di sekitar dia. Let's say you bought a piece of magnet, you letak sebuah besi. You nak tengok berapa kuat dia. Let's say, the bentuk dia keluar dia macam ni. Let's say, like that. Let's say, oh, sorry. Let's say like that. Just like that. Okay, let's say, let's say this is a Maidin magnet. Sorry, uh, I, in, uh, in South, not in South, sorry. It just, you know, I give you an option only. You want to buy me Maidin, up to you. Katakan, you beli satu lagi magnet. Magnet yang sangat kuat. We can find uh, Daiso. Daiso ada jual. Extra strong magnet. Extra strong magnet. So, katakan you extra strong magnet, you letak sebuah besi. Apa you nampak? You nampak bentuk dia. Tum, tum, tum. Like that. You see this shape came out. Okay, you see this shape came out. Let's say, well, look like spider. All right. Oh, seriously. Look like Spider-Man. Okay. Let's say, look, this shape came out. Katakan. So, based on this too, I don't think you need any kind of physics knowledge, right? Between, ladies and gentlemen, first magnet and the second magnet, siapa lebih kuat? Of course, you look at them, more menakutkan, right? Understand? Now, so, what it mean by here is, How we know the magnet strong or not, we can see it by ourselves dengan menggunakan sebut besi. Kalau kamu nampak size itu, dia mewakili kekuatan dia. Okay? That's a point number two. Okay, write it down into your notes. I go back to the page for you. Here. Okay, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Zoom, hello. Oh, Microsoft ni bodoh. Okay, I think I can see it. Okay, let me see. I try this. Let me adjust a better one. Okay, a little bit more. Microsoft ni memang lembab. Hey, yo. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, write down. Quick. Sorry, ah. What's the name? Someone asked, sir. Magnet got expired lah. No. Magnet, uh, of course, later you will know that there are two types of magnet. One is called the permanent magnet. Another one called man-made magnet. Magnet buatan manusia. Kalau magnet buatan manusia, kita boleh belajar nanti. We will learn. Uh, that one, the magnetic strength will change. Dia akan berubah. Okay, bermakna now maybe when you bought it, it's very strong. Later on, dia tak kuat sangat. Uh, that one, yes. Teacher, all magnet have the same magnetic field pattern. It uh, depends on the shape of the magnet. Someone asked, is it all magnet have the same magnetic field pattern? Not really. Uh, dia mengikut bentuk dia. Of course, it's a round shape or, 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 or what we call trapezoid, okay, or triangle. Dia bentuk berbeza. But your syllabus, we only look at the rectangle, okay, or square. Rectangle or square punya magnet. Understand? 
Or the magnet, the magnet ada banyak bentuk. Dia boleh bentuk macam-macam. Okay, you can be triangle, hexagon, pentagon, whatever. Of course, this kind of uh, magnet, dia punya few pattern. Dia punya corak dia agak berbeza. But not in your syllabus. You no need to know. Okay? Sudah? Sudah belum? Where they get the permanent magnet? Permanent magnet can correct bawah tanah lah. Understand? It's a mineral lah. It's a kind of mineral. Uh, actually, there's another type. As I say, permanent magnet and man-made. But man-made also, we can make a permanent. Later, you will know. Okay? We can do one. Does the strength of the magnet is based on the thickness? No. The strength of the magnet is not based on thickness, not based on the size. Not at all. It's based on the material itself. Someone asked about the Islam. Huh? Someone asked again, where can you get, as I said, permanent magnet, correct bawah tanah. Okay? If you don't want, you can go and buy. Magnet got bapa or not? Magnet got bapa or not? Uh? Uh, bumi lah. Everything is from earth. Bumi lah. Permanent, permanent magnet cheap lah. Uh, okay lah. You can buy in Daiso. Daiso is jual RM5.90. Empat extra strong magnet. Empat biji yang kecil punya. Ataupun satu biji yang besar. Five ringgit ninety cent. Okay. Bookshop also can sell what? Okay, ah, sudah. All done. Okay, let's count down. Cheng. Okay, okay. Later, I buy that. Promote you at the store. Jangan lah. Okay, Dana. All right. Hey. Well, this is a good question. Why magnet called magnet? Lah? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, I would say that this question become uh, a bit hard. Just like if you ask a chemist teacher, why hydrogen called hydrogen? Why helium called helium? Why sodium called sodium? I think it's hard to answer also. Uh, who else? I say Mr. Luke Skywalker is the best physics teacher in the world. Ah, jangan lah. No lah, in the world cannot lah. Saya, I very low profile one. Jangan lah macam tu, nanti malu saya. Okay ah? Is the name of the person who make the magnet magnet? I'm uh, not sure, seriously. Why the magnet called magnet? I'm not sure. Okay ah? I'm not sure, seriously not sure. Okay. I know I tell you, but I don't know, seriously. Of course, I know I'm going to check also lah. Uh, maybe internet ada sebut, Maybe you can type Google why magnet call magnet. Mungkin dia ada jawab lah. But I never go and check it out lah. For me, not important. Biar lah. Just like why your name is like that. Why you call this name, okay? Why you call Ali? Why you call Ahmad? Don't know. Your father at that moment feel like your name is like that. I don't know. Teacher, why do watches and phone got wacky when the magnet is placed near to them? Ah, later you will know. Okay, so Lanli kata why there something happened to your phone uh, and also to your watch when you are magnet get near? Yes. That's why you see this chapter called what? Electromagnet. Now we learn magnet first. Electricity we already learn. Remember chapter two, electricity? Now we learn magnet. We're going to combine them later on. So then you will know how electricity affecting magnet, how magnet can affect electricity. Understand or not? They, they will actually relate to each other. That's why magnet will affect all electric appliances. Right? Not only for your phone and watches, any also. You put on a TV also, they akan berubah juga. Okay? That one, I'll talk about that later on. Okay, second thing, huh? okay, done, huh? perkara ketiga, okay, third thing. Okay, third thing is, this is something that you learn before very young, okay. Yang ketiga, perkara ketiga, is what we call, when you have more than one magnet, apabila kamu lebih daripada seketul magnet. All the while, one and two, we're talking about one magnet. Kerana satu ketul magnet. Now, the thing is, number three is, if you have more than one magnet, Two or three or four magnet. Apa berlaku? Of course, if your your syllabus we only talking about when you're more than one mean two magnet. Understand? Two magnet. So when two magnet, everyone know. Katakan ini magnet. They say this a magnet. Okay, this is also a magnet. For example, magnet, magnet. So apa berlaku when you put them together? So apa berlaku pada dua magnet itu? When you put them together, only two things can happen to it. Is either they will attract each other, they attract each other, or 
dia repel. Okay? Dia akan tarik satu sama lain ataupun tolaklah satu sama lain. So, bilakah benda ni akan berlaku? I think you should know. Okay, why is there so many questions here? With the strength of the magnet change in water? No, still the same. It's still the same. But of course, the water, right? Water because there's something called as a viscosity of the water. And also water, uh, you learn in higher level, there's something called the surface tension of it. When you want to attract things in the water, it's a bit harder. You can imagine like geseran lebih tinggi. It's very hard to move. But the strength is still the same one. But for example, you put this, let's say this is a magnet, you put inside the water, attract this. Let's say outside the water, you attract poop very fast. Maybe in the water, it'll be slower. But the strength still the same. Kekuatan sama. Because for permanent magnet, kekuatan dia is forever. That's why they call it permanent. And they say not forever, same. Okay? Someone say, Sir, you are not poor. Who say so? I'm poor lah. And they say not. Mana ada duit. Okay, why you say I'm not poor leh? I don't understand. Why suddenly you say that? Okay, I don't know. Why you say that? Okay, never mind. Okay, look at this. So, apabila kamu ada dua ketua magnet, let's say it's like that. Let's say I got one piece of magnet. Let's say like that. Okay, let's say a magnet. Okay, this is how we draw the magnet. This is how we draw. Uh. Let's say I want to draw the magnet north like this. Okay, listen carefully first. This is the way that we draw. Kalau kamu nak bincangkan magnet dengan satu kutub saja, we draw like that. By assuming that, dengan buat anggapan bahawa you buat macam tu, dengan anggap sebelah sini sememangnya adalah sub lah. Kamu tak lukis saja. Don't draw ni. Understand? Because some of the time the discussion, we only need to discuss one of the pole. So we don't draw ni. Understand? Nah? So we draw like that. And of course, you must let this part lah. This part must open up like that. Must open. If you want to close this part, so I want to close it, then you must label here as a sub. Okay? You must label as a sub. If you're lazy to label that side as a sub, you tak nak label. So what is the proper way to do? According to the rule of drawing, you should draw like that only. Then label at north. Is that clear? Maybe some of you have a mental problem. So, tak boleh. Saya mesti tutup diagram itu. You must tutup juga. You just draw like that. Like a crack. Oh, I bodoh punya Microsoft. Let me disable this function first. Bodoh punya dia. Okay, ya. Huh? Pandai sangat dia. Okay, wait lah. Okay. Maksudnya, you just draw like that. With a crack, something like that. That's good enough. If you insist to close it. But normally, we don't do that. Normally, what we do is just like that, like that, like that. North. Understood? The other side is a south. You don't need to draw. Is it okay? Let's say I have another one also is a north. So, apa berlaku? North, north, everyone knows it's repel. Same thing goes with here. Okay? South, south. Apa berlaku pada dia? Both of them. They will repel. Betul tak? They can tolak satu sama lain. Am I right? But obviously, when you have a north and south, you put it together, what will happen? They will attract. They can tarik satu sama lain. Betul tak? This is something is very simple and we know very well since very young age, even at primary. But, but, I want to tell you this. Since primary, you learn all these things. Betul tak? But you do not know why, right? Mengapa mereka tolak? Mengapa mereka tarik? If you try to ask your teacher, 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 why not enough repel? Definitely teachers, oh, because similar pole, repel. Kutub sama, tolak lah. Then you tanya, cikgu, mengapa kutub sama, tolak? Oh, because similar pole, repel. You know what I'm trying to say? So why they are like that? Of course, there's a reason. Okay, that's the reason behind it. And then say, no, other sebab dia. That's the reason behind why they repel. What's the reason? Later on, you will know. Definitely, there's a reason. Okay? But now, I want you to accept it first. Untuk tahap ni, you terima dahulu. North, north mesti repel. South, south mesti repel. North, south mesti attract. Why? I will explain to you later. You copy down first into your notes. Okay? This part very quick. Okay? Ui, so many questions. Your house got a lot of cars, right? Got Iron Man suit also rich, ma. Uh, uh, all this toy car ni adalah, ha? Huh? Because both of your phone are iPhone. Both on iPhone. iPhone now cheap, right? I think the iPhone, what? SE. The cheapest iPhone ever, they say. So, what about the U-shaped magnet? As I say, uh, as I say, U-shaped magnet also, it means that normally U-shaped magnet, they make such a way like that one. For example, uh, is the magnet is like that. For example, U-shaped. Uh, normally, they make it this one North Pole, this one South Pole one. 
but it's not the mass as I said. Imagine the U shaped magnet normally here north, here south, but also can be this side north, this side south one. It can be. Understand or not? And actually, right, when you go higher level of study, you will know the position of the pole, right? Actually, we can try to control one. When you design, when you make a magnet like that, you can try to control one. How you can do that are uh, not in your syllabus. Your syllabus just want to tell you must have a north and south. That's all. So that, this part is quite as simple, I would say. But teacher, you got iPhone 11 Pro, leh. we got poor. <sighs> so when I do iPhone give away, tak boleh lah, mana ada iPhone. Nah. Nah. This is 11, this is 7, 7 11, okay? 7 11, okay? Okay, so that hey God reach, okay. Mr. Mr. Shiva lagi reach. Jangan main main. Okay. Saya miskin je. Tengok. Ambil zoom pun account murah. I don't need to pay murah punya account. The account maha tau. Sir, can see your shoe collection. <laughs> no lah. Today I wear this shoe only. Nah, nah. You see before one. Okay. Nah, nah. Okay. Teacher, you didn't try to cut your hair by yourself. Uh, cannot lah. Cut hair must take us spectacle. Can I spectacle? I'm partially blind. Cannot see. No one lah. Okay. Sir, do you know how can I print the notes in the tuition way? I mean like booklet way, is it? Oh, you have to set it in a booklet. For example, you go to uh, your PDF reader. When you print out, it should be the settings. Eh? Print as booklet. Like that. So, botak lah. Jangan lah. Tak boleh. Okay, tak boleh. Dah lah tua depan dah. Banyak tak ada rambut dah. Botak lagi. Susah. Okay. Can I? All right. Number four. Okay, here got space. So, I use this part lah. Okay, this part, but I'll just bow only. Okay, all these things you have to copy, as I said, inside here, 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 sini, di sini, bukan di sana, di sini. Hey, why got still student coming in? Man? That's weird. Sekarang baru masuk. Masalah betul. Okay, this part is a bit difficult now. Okay, this part is a bit difficult. Kena pakai otak sikit lah. Okay, let me, I use this setting first. I need my Microsoft to help me draw a circle. Okay, the number four is kind of important now. Okay, I'll put a star for it. Okay, disebabkan oleh keistimewaan magnet, because of specialties of the magnet, humans successfully design and invent a very important instrument. We call it as a compass. Okay, we call it as a compass. Okay, this is very important. In Malayka compass, huh? okay, Malayka compass. Okay, what is the compass? Uh? Compass basically adalah satu alat untuk menentukan arah. Okay, nowadays, also, seldom people use compass anymore because since we got GPS already. You know compass, right? Dia, or pengangkap ke, or ke girl guide ke, boy scout, they like to use one to find direction. Okay, that one invention is because of the magnet. Okay, basically, it's like that. Listen first. Uh. Imagine if you have a compass, what happened? Compass, basically, if you see the real compass before, you will know. Okay, eh, you see? Now the Microsoft never make a circle for me. Microsoft may sometime. Uh... Okay, one more time, Microsoft, give you a chance. As it is a compass. Okay, so what you will see in a compass, inside the compass, there's an arrow, you know. There's an arrow. Okay, kalau kamu pernah tengok, the arrow is always pointing to the north. The arrow is pointing to the north. So you disable the function. No, I enable back already. I didn't disable, I enable back. Okay, thanks for your reminder. Huh? Okay. So come back to this. A compass basically is with an arrow and the arrow is always pointing to the north. Okay, why like that? Uh, I want you to imagine like that. How we can make a compass. Listen first. Uh, listen first is like that. Apabila kita katakan, you want to design a compass, what you do is like that. Katakan, this is a compass design. What you do? Dalam compass itu sebenarnya terletak seketuk magnet. There's a one piece of magnet. Okay. So this is called a North Pole Magnet. This is called a South Pole Magnet. Katakan, okay? Let's say, listen first. Huh? There's a magnet inside the compass, okay? 
when you have a North Pole South Pole, what you do, let's say you want to make this to become a compass. What you do is like that, very simple. You just have to draw an arrow on top of the magnet, like that. Draw an arrow on top of the magnet, and the arrow representing the North Pole. Okay, what it means is like that. Imagine now I have a piece of paper here. For example, right, let's say, let's say this is a magnet, North Pole, South Pole. Huh? Let's say, let's say this is a magnet. Okay, can you see that? There's a North Pole, there's a South Pole, for example. Let's say I want to make this become a magnet. So what are you going to do? Sorry, I want to make this become a compass, sorry. So the board, ini sebagai satu compass. Apa saya perlu buat? Katakan saya tahu ini North, katakan saya tahu ini South. Betul tak? Saya nak board ini sebagai compass. Macam mana? I just have to draw an arrow, for example. I draw an arrow, satu anak panah, di atas the North. Just like that. Can you see that? Can you see that? You put an arrow on top of the North. That's all. This is what we call as a compass. Imagine kalau ini adalah satu magnet, you just gantung magnet segan tu benda tali, it will move freely. Katakan bahagian arrow ini, no power, dia tunjuk ke bawah sana, it point over there. What it means, you just fly if you can fly lah. You fly to that direction. What you will see, if you go all the way and fly to that direction, kamu akan sampai ke no power of the earth. Kamu akan sampai mana? Kutuk utara. Then you were able to see some polar bear. And this is a south. South is at the back, but mana di belakang. Imagine you fly over there, you continue to fly over there if you can. You will go to the south pole of the earth, you will see some penguin over there. You know what I'm trying to say or not? Is that clear? So, itu adalah compass. But the, now, the biggest mystery is, why the magnet can work on earth? Mengapa magnet boleh berfungsi dalam bumi? Okay, this is an interesting part now. Look at the board, huh? don't do anything first. Okay, bayangkan, ladies and gentlemen, ini adalah bumi. Katakan, bayangkan ini adalah bumi. Earth. Imagine, this is the earth. Okay, the case is like that. In terms of geography, secara geografi, dalam geografi, ini dinamakan sebagai kutub utara. Understand? Ini namanya kutub selatan, secara geografi. And this is called the east. This is called the west. Understand or not? This is called the east, they call it west, they call it north, south. That is according to direction, according to geography. Secara geografi, secara arah, utara, selatan, timur, dan barat. Okay? But in terms of magnetic pole, bayangkan earth, right? Imagine the earth is a gigantically big magnet inside. Bayangkan macam tu. Bayangkan bumi, right? Dia merupakan satu ketuh Magnet yang besar di dalam dia. Just imagine like that. Imagine it's a big piece of magnet inside the earth. And you know what's the best or the best part? This one is a south magnet. This is a north magnet. Okay? Understand or not? Is that clear? Okay, why like that? Huh? Why like that? Okay, that's the story now. You see, uh, one more time, I draw this. Okay, imagine if this is a magnet. North Pole, South Pole. Betul tak? Magnet. If I gantung freely like that, katakan gantung. I look at the magnet. This is a North. Betul tak? Katakan this is a North. Can you see that? This is a North. I'm looking at it. North. What I do? Kalau North berhenti di sini, maksudnya apa? If I fly there, as I say, if I fly, saya terbang sana, I will go to the North Pole of the Earth. Betul tak? Saya akan pergi ke kutub utara. Am I right? Is that clear? But now the case is like that. Why this thing is pointing there? Mengapa North ini, dia, han, dia hala ke sana? Even though you move this magnet to this side, ya, you know what happen? Automatically, they will come back to the same thing. Dia akan hala benda yang sama juga. Mengapa? That means that they must have some kind of attraction over there. Satu tarikan, okay? Satu tarikan di sana. There's some kind of magical power over there pulling this side. Then you must think, siapa mampu tarik North? Who can pull the North? That is a South. That means that di sana adalah satu kutub selatan yang sedang tarik kutub utara magnet saya. Anda saya nak bermakna secara arah geografi, we call that north. Kita namanya utara. But in terms of magnet, that is a south magnet. Is that clear? So why did the balik? Because this is because of a human convenience. Okay? Human convenient. What it means? Apabila saya sebagai seorang manusia, I look at the magnet. You see, this is north. Huh? This is north, this is south. Huh? I look at the magnet. 
North is here, South is here, ma. North is here. For me, I look at the magnet. North. I look at the magnet, it's North. So what do I call that one? North. I call that one? North. Understand? But in terms of the magnet, such as signs, that side is the South. Understand? Now, I look at the magnet. Oh, this is the South. Belakang, South. But such as magnet, it should be a North. You get my point? Is that clear? Write down to your notes. Okay. Next. Who invented magnet? Oh, what a good question. Same question. Huh? Someone asked, who invented magnet? You ask me, you ask your chemistry teacher, who invented hydrogen? Who invented helium? Who invented all this sodium? Wow, what a good question. Okay. If I want to answer you, God. Okay. Tuhan Maha Kwasa. Okay. Copy down the like. Oh, oh, sorry. I zoom for you. Sorry. Okay, copy down quick. If you lost in the jungle, how to use magnet to find a way out? If you lost in the jungle, how to find? Use the magnet to find a way out. You must know where you came from. Lah. Okay, you came from the north or south or east or west. Just like that. Okay, as simple as like, let's say you came from where, for example. Okay, let's say you came from the north or south or east or west. You just take a magnet. Okay, you look at the direction. Then you know where's the east and west. Lah. Just like that. Follow the river. Uh, true also. If you go camping before, you will know. Okay, follow the river. <laughs> you will find kampung. Man. If you follow the river, you will find some kind of kampung. Okay, follow the river. That's true. If you're lost in the jungle, you, you follow the river. Very true. I look at the sun. Sometimes in the jungle, it's not easy to see the sunlight, especially the tree is tall. If you're camping before, you will know. Look at the sun is one way, but not a very effective way. River is good. So why do people determine north or south if they're lost in the jungle? Why do people determine north and south? So that, as I say, where you came from, okay? Or listen to the sound of animal. If you listen, you will hear sound, sound of animal, you should run. Huh? <laughs> so compass is better than GPS? Uh, I will say yes and no. Okay, this question, this student asked me, compass is better than GPS? I will say yes and no. Compass will never lie. GPS will lie. Kalau GPS is based on satellite. Satellite is between the up there and you. Kalau in between you, other bender, or the I want to bow, there's a thick cloud or a lot of object there, GPS doesn't work. There's a heavy rain now, GPS doesn't work that well. But compass will never lie to you. Okay, so in a sense, compass is better. Okay, or not? We still got time, huh? I've got to go number five. This one done, huh? Okay, done, huh? Okay, number five. This is one of the most important ones. Okay, I think I'll use here. Okay, number five. Perkara kelima. Okay, I'm going to use the double star for it because it's a, mo a triple, lah, most important one. This is what we call as a magnetic... Oops, sorry, I should use a black pen for it. Okay, this is what we call as a magnetic field direction. Okay, Ara Medan Magnet. Okay, Ara Medan Magnet. Okay, what do you mean by Ara Medan Magnet? You see, uh, previously we learned about this thing called Medan Magnet, magnetic field, remember? So magnetic field basically is all around the magnet. As I say just now, if this is a magnet, that's a magnetic field all around here. Understand? But we find out this field, right, Medan ini sebenarnya ada apa? They're the ara. When all this field, when they come up from the magnet, right, they come with direction one. They're the ara dia. They come in their own direction. They're the ara tersendiri. Okay, now we're going to determine what they mean by this. Okay, magnetic field direction. Okay, look at this. Uh. This part, why I say so important, number one, it came out all the time, I would say, no matter it's objective, subjective, essay, tak ada. Objective, subjective, always, always appear in the exam. Okay, you look at it carefully first. Okay, imagine, bayangkan, I have a piece of magnet. As I say, like, your syllabus, most of the time, is a magnet bar like that. Okay, satu rectangle ni. Let's say this is a North Pole. This is South Pole. Come on, Microsoft. What you are doing? I just want to draw an end. You give me a triangle. Too smart, are you? And some of the triangle cannot use eraser to erase. You have to delete North Pole. Okay, South Pole. 
Okay, now, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to use your brain. Okay, bayangkan, ini adalah magnet, betul tak? Okay, it's like this. Bayangkan apabila saya letak satu kompas di depan dia, just right in front of the nopo. You see, never go do a circle for me now. Microsoft, what are you doing? I want circle, you don't do circle. Okay, thank you. So imagine I put a compass just right in front of the North Pole magnet. Huh? Remember just like as I said, apa berlaku pada dia? Dia ada arrow kan? Dia kan arrow, betul tak? But when you put it over there, right, we'll find out the arrow will change direction. Arrow itu akan terpesong. They will go to some air else. So my question to you now, where this arrow is going to point? Okay, where this arrow is going to point? I give you a few choices. Number one, the arrow will point up. Number two, they will point down. Number three, the arrow will point to the right. Number four, the arrow will point to the left. Oops, sorry. Okay. And number five option, if you need uh, option number five, the arrow will spin. So which way do you think it will point? The arrow keep turning. <laughs> Left spin, left right, macam macam ada left spin. The arrow will face left. Wait, 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 so fast. Cause uh, okay, someone explain to me. I don't want explanation. I just want left or right only. That's the best part, lah. Uh. When I ask left or right, up or down, most of you are okay, different. But one thing for sure, I didn't see any answer for the up and down, so we can cancel these two. Left ada banyak, right pun banyak, spin pun ada. Okay, I just want to tell you that the compass actually is not going to spin. The compass spinning only can happen in one situation. If you want some kind of a Chinese horror movie, okay, itu cerita-cerita hantu Cina, you akan dapat itu sifu, ah, akan keluar itu compass, okay, nampak itu compass pusing-pusing, then the sifu will make a conclusion, adalah benda tu, okay, the sekitar, okay. Understand or not, adalah benda tu, okay. But of course, we are learning science, ah, kita tak main itu. Is either left or right now, okay, left or right. Okay, now you must think carefully. This is physics. Everything must have a reason. Understand that? Everything must have a reason. So, di mana kah dia akan tunjuk? Okay, di mana kah dia akan tunjuk? Look at this uh, class. Just I already mentioned it to you, right? About the about the compass. Remember this thing. Remember this thing. As I said, compass basically is what is an arrow. Remember arrow. The bower arrow is a magnet. The bower arrow is a what? Magnet. The arrow is the north pole. The back of the arrow is the south pole. North pole, south pole. Understand or not? So that is a compass. Now you must think again. And also, that's why I purposely draw here because it's next to each other only now. From here, we understand one important thing. North is forever attract the south. South is forever attract the north. Why like that? Of course, I will explain. Okay, I will explain. But that's a truth that you must able to accept. So north is always attract the south, correct or not? So now you see, this is a north pole, betul tak? North is only attract the south. So where is the south pole of the arrow? The south pole of the arrow is at the back of it. Di mana sini ada north, betul tak? Bermakna, the arrow is pointing to the left. Understand that it's pointing to the left. Is it okay? Can or not? Okay, uh, now. Not yet. Time to use brain. Okay. If I go into put a compass. Now, just here. Okay. Just over here. For example, just behind it. I think you should know the answer well. Where the compass pointer will show. Di mana kah dekat tunjuk. Where they will show. Hurry up. Well, this time is very unite. Mostly left, 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 left. Oh, one, one is right. If you use compass, another magnet beside the result will not occur. Yes, uh, magnet will affect the compass, but compass is still a magnet also. What? Oh, two persons say right, mostly say left. Compass will attract goals. Shut up, please follow. Okay, there, wow, there. Someone say there. I love this answer. DJ student, eh? Right, or uh, third person say right, mostly say left, 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 left. Okay, no need to argue. Science is, and we have a proof. Remember, this is a south pole, but 
South Pole only attract the north. Where is the north of the compass? It's an arrow, right? So it's over here. This is a north. Correct or not? So they will point to the left again. Is that clear? Oh, sorry, maybe some of you don't know what's the left and right. That's why you make a mistake. The hand I'm holding my pen is called the right hand. Okay? This is left hand. Okay. Now, we still have time, right? We have. Tekan salah. Wah, tekan salah. Left, right. Sparing also different, no? Itu pun tekan salah. Bagus, ah. This kind of excuses also can give. Okay, now is the time to use our brain. If I put a compass right on top over here. Okay? Right on top now. Just on top of the magnet, in between the north and south. Okay? Just like that. I put it there. Where the compass will show. Hurry up. Diagonal. Wow. Spin. Ini Cina ni. Cakap spin. Jumpa hantu dia. You will point to the north. Thank you. Huh? They point to the north. To the left. A lot of people say left. Southeast. Left. Right pun ada. Sengit. Wah, ini hebat. Right. Up. Wah, macam-macam. Well, this is interesting. I tell you, if if we can see the feedback from that, it's interesting. Macam-macam ada north, east, uh, south, west lah. Sengit lah, diagonal lah, left, right lah, up, down lah, spin lah. Macam -macam. It means that you are not sure. Never mind. It's okay. Remember one important simple truth. North always attract south. South always attract north. That is something is deniable. Tak boleh nafikan. Okay, what it means? This is a north. Betul tak? North only attract the south. South only attract the north. Remember, compass is the magnet. And north and south is attracting each other at the same time, but the masa yang sama. So what you will see, you will see the compass pointer will point like this. They will point to the right. Okay, exactly right. Okay, exactly to the right. Understand or not? Why like that? Because the north attracting the south. South is attracting the north. Understand or not? Is that clear? You will find out the arrow will exactly flat point to the right. Okay, understand? Oh, yeah, oh, baru ada orang kata. Okay, now. Last round to fight back. Okay, final one. My internet so slow. Are you? Tapa, tapa, we're going to end. Okay, last one for this one. Of course, uh, this diagram not end yet, okay? But maybe today not enough time to finish up. This part is a lot to think to do, eh? okay? But let's look at this. Okay, let's look at it. So where the pointer will go? Wow, this time very nice, you see? You see? Oh, right, 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 right. Because you say right, I will say you are right. <laughs> yes, you are right. You are right. You betul, okay? Why like that? Explanation same. North attracts south, south attracts the north. Is it okay? Can I? Okay, still, still a few minutes, okay? Okay, now, homework, okay? Homework. If I buy a lot of compasses now, you tahu lah, you believe compass kat Maidin katakan, bought a lot. I put it here. I'm going to put it here, okay? Some more. I put a lot of compasses. So, beli banyak compass. Okay, you got nothing better to do. Orang raya beli baju raya, you beli compass. Katakan. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Here. Okay. This question actually came up before an SPM. Huh? They want you to draw the compass arrow, compass pointer. Okay. Okay, if I put a lot of compasses now, banyak compass the sekitarannya, just like this. So we want to know how the arrow will point. Okay, copy down first. Okay, there's a homework for you. So is there any case when the compass needle goes saying it? 
you will know from this diagram. Okay, this student now, you will know from this diagram. So you copy this down first. Okay, and someone still insists the same spinning. It must be Chinese. Yeah, Chinese name. <laughs> okay, don't think too much. Lah. Okay. Okay, now. Sudah saling belum? If you sudah, then we can go on a little bit. If no, I just stop here. Let you copy first. This one copy already? Anyone belum beritahu? Cepat, cepat. Siapa belum beritahu? Cepat, cepat. Or you want me to discuss this one before we end? Or you want to do yourself? Okay, everyone discuss. Okay, good. Okay, when you put a lot of compasses like that right, around the magnet, you know what you will see? You will see a very nice pattern appear on the compass pointer. You are gonna pop the compass pointer for this one, they point like this. This one, they point like this. This one, they point like this. So-called saying it lah. I think this is what you meant. Point like this. This one point like this. Okay, this one point like this. This one point like this. You will find out the whole compass. Okay, listen first. Uh, this is very interesting now. Let me zoom a bit. I think you can see, right? So when you look at the whole thing, right? Do you find out the compass arrow lah? Seandainya mempunyai satu corak tertentu, menuju satu corak tertentu, betul tak? So based on this diagram, right? Scientists make a conclusion. They say that sebenarnya Medan magnet sebenarnya ada arah. That's why we call that magnetic field direction. Apa arah dia? Okay, dia bukan sahaja, this magnet bukan sahaja keluar daripada kutub. Tapi semasa dia keluar, dia keluar dengan arah. Arah macam mana? Arah seperti yang kita nampak melalui compass. You look at this. At the north pole, what happened to the compass pointer just now? Point to the left, right? So that means uh, itu north pole punya magnetic field no problem magnetic field the magnetic field actually is coming out from the north understand and going in to the south can you see that arrow of this pointing to the south but my scientific conclusion sebenarnya magnetic field ada arah arah dia adalah seperti arah yang diramalkan melalui compass north go out south come in can you see that? Same thing here. The north actually is going outward. North is going out. Understand or not? South is coming in. This is what happened now. Not only that, we also know there's a magnetic field join like that, right? Magnetic field join like that, right? According to the pattern shown by the compasses, you will find out actually magnet is moving from the north to the south. Can you see that? So that is a conclusion we make, and this is extremely important. It means that we already found the direction of the magnetic field according to the prediction of the compass. Kita akhirnya kita dapat carikan arah meda magnet melalui ramaran daripada compass. Okay, copy this to that gram. Our discussion not end yet, of course. Okay, any question you can ask now before we end our lesson today? Sir, what if we use the Compass apps on our phone? Same. Compass app also can. Compass apps is the same. Like iPhone got Compass inside. If I'm not wrong, I still got Compass or not. Saya pun tak ingat lah. Macam tak ada Compass already lah. Compass. Who are there? I can? Ah, this one. Can also. You put around the magnet, it still work one. Okay. Boleh juga. I think new iPhone tak ada already lah. Never used before also. Sebab taruh orang buka kompas sekarang dah. Hmm, kompas. Oh, ada juga. Lama tak, tak pernah pakai pun. Ah, can? Okay. So, this one look like the positive and negative thing. Yes, yes, it is. Like positive, negative, the arrow, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, later, I will I will show you, okay, the relate on that. But why still have people think iPhone kompas useless? Because you got GPS, ma. Okay, why people say compass uses because you got GPS already more convenient to use. 
But as I say, if you're in the jungle or somehow uh, the, the sky is not clear, the GPS is nothing at all. Okay, huh? done everyone? So done? All right, so next week we're gonna continue from here. Next week, I need to use something called as a right hand. Huh? Okay, we're gonna find something by using the right hand. Okay, tangan kanan. Please, please, please. Next week, come for the class with right hand. Siapa tangan cacat? Please. Ataupun tangan sudah batal ke, sir? I don't know why my finger, right? My hand. Every time I grip, my one finger never follows, sir. Ah, that one. Please don't come for my class. I need someone can grip the hand. Hand can grip. Siapa tak? Sir, sir, I grip. My see, 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 the finger never follow. Please go home. Okay? I don't need. <laughs> All right? Oh, you're already at home. Huh? Why go home? Yeah. Fun. Okay? Can I? Then what you told us last week. Okay? So we're going to run right hand grip rule. Okay? So that's all for today. Yeah? Any question? No more. Huh? All right. I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much, everyone. Huh? Have a good day. Stay healthy.